Hello and welcome uh, to the playtest um, podcast version of the fifth edition Dungeon Dragons fifth edition, the world of the Taltus. This is just a, a picture of the of the cover. As this is not the actual this is not the actual book. So I am your host for this podcast. Uh, my name is L.J. Haydorn, author of the Age of the Fallen series, and one of the hosts on the Scribbler's Rest podcast that you can find on YouTube. So it's a video podcast. We record our uh, tabletop gaming sessions, uh, playing anything from Pathfinder, Shadowrun, Dungeons & Dragons, uh, board games, uh, whatever. So we take local um, celebrities as far as in our state of Florida and uh, whether they are authors or artists or cosplayers etc. It's creative types and allow them to be on the podcast with us and we have we just have fun so occasionally we switch out people but I've been fortunate enough that the creators of the World of the Taltus um, have allowed us to do a uh, look at the initial beta materials for the game and do a podcast for them so very cool very happy about that so you'll see some new things in here that are going to be different than your standard core rule book players handbook DMG things like that that um, that you will find in dungeons the basic Dungeon Dragon set so and They've got some very cool stuff. Uh, we're hoping to show off some of that wonderful um, material in our podcast, such as glyph magic. Now you're gonna want to pay attention to that. That's pretty pretty cool. And again, there are some new races, which is gonna be neat to see that, um, as well as uh, they have just some different backgrounds too. So and see how all that interacts. And with that. Um, the premise of this whole thing is I take four players and allow them to create characters. Now I've done something a little different, and this is how I, I like to do it as a, as a DM or a GM. Um, I took each of them and did a, a short segment with them to get them into the game um, together. So instead of just saying opening sequence, uh, four strangers are are together with no background of what's going on or how they got there or any of that stuff, um, what I've done instead is I've run short pieces for each of them. So we're gonna air all those pieces. Uh, we should air all those before the before our actual session, and I believe our first session we're, we're looking at. Uh, we're taping on the 16th of September at Gods and Monsters, awesome place. If you're ever down in Orlando, go to Gods and Monsters. Uh, great atmosphere, huge store, 20,000 square feet. Uh, I think it's like the biggest geek store around. So, And then uh, we've got the first segment of the show, I believe is the 19th we're going to release. And then about a week afterwards, we'll release the rest of the episodes about twice a week. So pay attention, stay tuned, enjoy. We're going to have some great people on this uh, show. Uh, we've got two, two guests, and I'll let you watch those podcasts and see who those guests are. So one of the things, places we're going to go, I created this wonderful map from the Heroes of... Thorn, uh, Heroes of Thornwall that you can find uh, on Drive Through RPG. So it's it's a free currently in the Pathfinder uh, version, but they are going to come out with a fifth edition version of it. So they get you know just got to change some stats around and stuff. But here here's the here's the wonderful map that I, I printed out. I you know I, I didn't do it all on one big old sheet of paper. I <laughs> I had to print it out on, on uh, six different sheets and then I kind of taped them together and everything else. But um, wonderful little town. So I hope you can you can see that a little bit. 
And that's where our adventure, adventurers, will all end up. So, I'm hoping that it will be entertaining. I hope you enjoy. I hope you will you will follow us. Please follow us on YouTube. Uh, it's just it's a minor little thing, but it means the world to the <laughs> to to those of us that are that are doing this and who who you know the guests and everything else get to see that their popularity on the show. They've got their friends who are following it. They get to see them and everything, and it shows us that these guests are you know that. You know they're awesome people to begin with, but it's like, you know, we're all big one community of of uh, of geeks brought together. So please follow us on YouTube, Scribblers Rest, and also the World of Ataltis. They are currently doing a Kickstarter. They are on Kickstarter. Look for them. All you really have to do is is, is just spell Ataltis. A E T a L T I S A E T A L T I S. Search for them on their Kickstarter. They are going through the let's see, September sixth through October I think it's eleventh is the end date. And that's it. So get in the brown on, on the groundbreaking um, portion of it. See all the goodies they have. Uh, let's hopefully we can not only fund the whole game but get past that point and find all the cool stuff to add on to it. So, as with any project, it, it's professionally done. It's gonna, it, it takes a lot of people getting together to come out with the finished product. So, don't just sit back and say, hey, you know what, it sounded really cool, it looked really cool, I'll just buy it whenever, you know, online sometime whenever it comes out. If you take that approach, if you like what you see, you see on this game, and you but you take that approach, what's going to happen is um, they may not come out out with all the cool stuff they want to when they want to. So you won't get that material as quickly out there to the to the masses as as, as they would like. But um, but by showing your support and backing them, they're going to have PDF versions of of the files. Uh, they'll they'll have hardcover versions of the files. There's even an awesome just leather bound uh, um, tome I guess with, with, all, with all, um, all the printed material in it as well. So it's going to be it's going to be pretty neat to, to see this thing come out. Um, I believe it's coming out, I think it was coming out the first quarter of next year but I, I'm not absolutely positive on that and I hope I'm saying this correctly. Ataltis. So the Ataltis, just to give you a little background, I have, from the information that I've read and, and, and that's been shared with me, is um, humans, which are called Antlins, uh, Nuwarden, and the Chibot, um, are all these, there are three foreign races that came through these great big portals into this other world. Didn't have humans, or Antlins, as they're called in this game. And uh, once they got there, um, they started doing what any race that comes into a, through a portal does. They start colonizing, and then soon they um, they run into some trouble. All the portals are blown up, just utterly decimated, and they're stuck on on this new world. So the the race, those that did come across through the portals, are stuck on this new world. Now, to keep adding some more chaos to all of this, there's uh, all sorts of other things going on. Like, for instance, the dwarves, who normally had you know, these great civilizations in, uh, under the earth, in, in the deeplands, as they're called, um, were being invaded by hordes of, of evil, foul beasts, the goblins and trolls and other creatures. Uh, then the, they got together and they sealed off the Deeplands, uh, keeping those creatures at bay with great powerful magics. Those great powerful magics, though, have been around for a very long time. And as with anything, at some point, they start faltering. And the problem that this world has is that with everything else that's gone on through the hundreds of years, they lose resources. Men, uh, women, 
these warriors to to, to really defend them, uh, the the masses. So when there's an insurgence and of, of creatures pouring out through one of these areas, uh, one of these barriers that is broken down, they could send hundreds of of just ordinary plain soldiers to go fight fight these creatures. But as we know, ordinary soldiers are very inexperienced. They don't have, you don't have a ton of experienced soldiers that you have um, owned by, or employed by kings and, and no, different, other different nobles and warlords. So when you send your troops in, slaughters occur on your side as, as well as the other side, but you can't replace those troops easily. So what has happened is those people who, who, who have attained some sort of, of power, but aren't, say, nobles, um, they gather them together and send them these elite troops in to deal with the, with the intrusions into the upper lands. And these uh, elite individuals are none other than adventurers. Because everybody knows, you give them some money, tell them to keep whatever they find, seal the stupid thing off, and uh, we'll we'll see you the next time. So <laughs> just give us your business card, and that's and that's and that's pretty much the sum of it. So you have adventurers now have become the, the these great mercenaries to send in to deal with whatever horrible uh, creatures come out, and it plays a large part with a lot of things when you look at like the different mythos that we have, uh, we look at Beowulf or other things, these mercenaries, these heroes, come from all, all these strange places to take care of great uh, evils going on in the lands, killing the people, killing troops, killing nobles, um, whatever, you know, defiling the land. So, lots of awesome races in here with their own little stories. But I'm not going to tell you all that. I want you to experience that for yourself. Hopefully, we can show you some of that wonderful material as far as in the role-playing aspect that, uh, of the session we're going to do. But, as if anything, we're only going to give you about a three or four hour um, recording of what we, we experience to get more about this, to learn more about it, to experience this world and see the awesomeness behind it, you're going to have to <laughs> buy a copy when it becomes available. You can get your pre-order in by going to Kickstarter and letting them know, man, sounds awesome. Sign me up for that. I want to see that. And it tells you on the Kickstarter who are the people behind it, what's, what's going on with that world. So, gives you a little, little in-depth um, view, a little more view than, than uh, overview than I'm necessarily giving you. But, and it, they also have a wonderful book, too, that came out, an anthology, which you can find on uh, Amazon and I'm sure probably other sites, too. Um, it's in uh, electronic format as well as paperback format, called Champions of Ataltis. The same thing, A-E-T-A-L-T-I-S, A-E-T-A-L-T-I-S, Champions of Ataltis. You can find it, do a search, Amazon, for it. Um, I, I don't know if Barnes & Noble has it. I'm not sure where they, where they put it out there. I've got a copy of it myself. A bunch of short stories made by some wonderful authors who, if you're a fantasy reader, you're going to recognize some of these names. Ed Greenwood, for instance. Um, you're, just take a look. I'm sure there are several names you, you know, and I'm sure there's several names that you may also love, again, if you're a fantasy reader, on that list. And that is going to give you some awesome background and a good feel for what Ataltus is all about. But please... Watch what we have, follow us, and don't forget, 
back these guys up. So, hey Mark, thank you for allowing us to do this. Very much appreciate it. Um, this is awesome. I can't wait to show everybody your world, your vision. Have a good one.